Royal Road, Aruka. Give us a call at 671-3001 or 692-3629 or WhatsApp 384-25304 quotations. Let your fashion do the talking with designs from Raquel Mona. Our boutique offers a wide range of clothing items, shoes, handbags, accessories, and perfumes for both the men and women. From brands like Robert Graham, Steve Madden, Coach, Victoria's Secret, Michael Kors, Ralph Lauren, Hush Puppies, and so much more. Visit our store at C3 Center Level 1 or give us a call at 765-6632. We are open Monday to Sunday, 10 a.m. to 7 p.m. Follow us on Facebook, Instagram, or on our website for fantastic deals. SNS Passage Supermarket comes to St. Mary's Freeport. With the wide aisles of variety, quality you can trust, a community hub, and royalty rewards. Wanna see the have everything that have everything from your fresh produce, your wines and spirits, your butcher meat, seafood, bakery, you name it, they have it. So come on down and shop today at the brand new SNS Passage Supermarket, St. Mary's Freeport. Attention all bakers, doubles vendors, and roti makers. Try our high-quality bromate-free, all-purpose, and whole wheat flour. Low price and conveniently packaged in 2 pounds, 2 kg, 10 kg, and 25 kg bags. For wholesale and retail prices, contact Chicago Limited at 665-3336 or 4808715. Or visit us at Warrenville Canopia, Chicago Limited. Quality you can trust. Introducing Berberine Plus by Aja Nutrition. Two doses a day keeps the blood sugar at bay, cholesterol levels in check, and your immune system strong. Made with ancient Ayurvedic ingredients, berberine, bitter melon, and banana leaf, Berberine Plus is clinically proven to improve glucose metabolism, enhance insulin sensitivity, and slows glucose absorption in the gut. Berberine Plus, providing a natural path to a healthier you. Pick up a bottle today at Pennywise and all leading pharmacies nationwide. Sukai's Diesel Service brings you outstanding and exceptional quality. We carry original parts, diesel pump and injector overhaul, diesel pump and injector testing, machine shop services, complete diesel engine overhaul, engine dyno testing, turbocharger repairs, government approved vehicle inspection station one. We are the premier source of all things diesel. Call us today for an appointment at 671-0900. If it's diesel, it's Sukai's Diesel. Tie Clinic has its big rim seal on. Get 20 to 50% off on the latest styles and sizes. We carry a variety of tires and tie equipments for agriculture and industrial needs at the best prices. Located at Coover, Shigonas and Pleasance Park, the Tire Clinic is tire for every need. your business or company not making money that's because no one knows about you advertise on crime watch the number one show and watch your business transform call us at 294-4081-225-4327 or 225-3250 
Step into a world of opportunities at CTS College, where education is beyond academics. Winner of over 50 world prizes, as well as ACTT Student Service Award. It's a college of your choice for quality education, guaranteed to unlock your true potential. Internationally recognized degree programs. Choose a degree that is right for you. Come in for your free career guidance session and start your future today with CTS College. Embarrassed by excessive hair loss, itchy, flaky scalp, receding hairline, teenage and adult cystic acne, open pores, old scar marks, puffy dark eye circles, eight spots, black lips, psoriasis, eczema or dermatitis? Do you want to get rid of deep lines and wrinkles, stretch marks, cellulite and discoloration around the neck, arms and between the legs? For a professional consultation and a microscopic analysis with Ms. Bagan, who has over 30 years of experience, call 673-7418 now. Enhance the space with extreme home and tile supplying limited. Get porcelain and ceramic tiles, decorative security doors, toilet sets, space basins, and more. Visit us at Perseverance Road Chase Village Bonus or call 299-3271 for more info. Beat the heat at Kingo Limited Auto AC Parts and Services. Our techs have years of experience keeping you cool and comfortable. Exceptional prices, quality work, and outstanding services. Call, WhatsApp, or come in today and take advantage of our many specials. We are professionals in general construction, paving, asphalt services, and preparation of residential and commercial developments. At Liqua Construction Services Limited, our team of professionals has the knowledge, experience, and resources to make your projects run smoothly, on time, on budget. We supply red sand, gravel, oil sand and more. Equipment rental available. 20 ton excavators, mini excavators, porter cool, bulldozers, concrete pumps and so much more. Contact us today for a free site visit and quote. First five orders will receive a gift voucher from Raquel Muda or a Robert Graham polo shirt. Neo Eyewear presents its latest designer eyewear collection. Come in and see our new arrivals of Versace, Giorgio Armani, Michael Kors, Coach, Ray-Ban, Kate Spade, Fossil, Marc Jacobs, Boss, DKNY, Nine West, and much more. Call us at 390-3196 or 672-5052. Find us on Facebook. We carry one of the largest selection of spectacle frames in the country, over 1,300 frames to choose from. <laughs> Janice, where's your secret? Your place always so clean and organized. <laughs> well, girl, I've got a secret. It's Sir. Sir? Seriously? You have a man coming to clean? No, girl. Sir's an amazing new line of cleaning products. I'm talking about kitchen sprays, bathroom scrubs, even laundry detergent. They've got the whole house covered. So your secret weapon is Sir? You bet. Sir cleaning products are a game changer. Not only do they smell amazing, they're effective and affordable. And this Sir definitely wouldn't judge your mess. <laughs> <laughs> Introducing the Sir Collection, a wide range of affordable cleaning essentials for every corner of your home. Discover the secret to a clean home. Available at all leading supermarkets nationwide. Not a sprint. It's a marathon, Jen. You know that. 
you got this. Nutrients for immune system support, heart health, and energy metabolism. But remember, you have more than regular energy. It's Jennifer Lopez energy. Or J-Lo energy. Seems forced. Jenny from the block energy. Overdone. Genergy. Genergy! Pick up a bottle today at Pennywise and all leading pharmacies nationwide. Welcome to eFix Investments Limited, your one-stop destination for all your home essentials. Transform your bathroom with our exquisite range of showers, enclosures, luxury bathtubs, modern toilets, faucets, ceramic sinks, and vanities. Enhance your kitchen with our stainless steel sinks. Our extensive selection includes bath, kitchen accessories, as well as security doors. Visit our showroom today at Southern Main Road, Homeland Gardens, Knupia, and let your dream home become a reality. Call us at 665-2282 or 671-2282. eFix Investments Limited, your home, your style, our passion. Obesity is a chronic disease and serious health issue in today's society associated with multiple comorbidities. At KSR Medical, our specialty is a medical treatment of this condition. Our doctors and pharmacists work together to help patients achieve and maintain a healthy lifestyle through our five nutrient weight loss programs. Patients can lose one to two pounds in inches per day. Major health benefits also include decreased risk of diabetes, heart disease, stroke, certain cancers, joint pain, lowered blood pressure, cholesterol levels, and improved mobility. Trust KSR Medical with your weight loss journey. Give us a call now to get started. Visit Domus Windows and Doors Caribbean UPVC Solutions, located at 57 Factory Road, Chaguanas. Get a wide range of glass options, including security laminate. Customization is our specialty to achieve sound reduction and energy savings. Check out our standard size stock windows and high quality bargains on ready to go units. Call us at 235 3700 or visit www dot domuswindows.com Mata Imports Limited the number one pickup shop for the best quality price and service check out their showroom at number 750 Papery Road Lower Barapur for a wide variety of 4x4 SUV and car accessories you name it they have it Mata Imports has all the latest items in the market the 4x4 boss is always taking you to the next level in the automotive industry so contact them today at 654-5234 or 360-8773 for further information There's a jungle loud. There's a, there's a, there's a jungle loud. Getting out of town. Getting out of town. There's a, there's a jungle out there and the hunt is on. A jungle out there and the hunt is on. We're gonna hunt you down. We're gonna hunt you down. 
we gonna come, we ain't playing, it's the last thing on our mind Stop crying much if you really, really wanna stop crying Be safe when you're home, be safe when it's cheap It's a cold place and I'm nearly feeling the heat I never wear gold cause someone's always peeping by the fence I'm still crying much, came and give TNT confidence I had a dream in the dark, I had a dream in the spring I had a dream, I had a dream like my new There's king. a jungle out there and the hunt is on A jungle out there and the hunt is on We gonna hunt you down we gonna hunt you down Yo, there's a jungle loud There's a, there's a, there's a jungle loud Crying out loud There's a, there's a, there's a, there's a jungle out there And the hunt is on A jungle out there And the hunt is on We gonna hunt you down We gonna hunt you down we gonna come, we ain't playing, it's the last thing on our mind Stop crying much if you really, really wanna stop crying Be safe when you're home, be safe when it's cheap It's a cold place and I'm nearly feeling the heat I never wear gold cause someone's always peeping by the fence Still crying much, came and give TNT confidence I had a dream in the dark, I had a dream in the spring I had a dream, I had a dream like my new There's a jungle out there and the hunt is on A jungle out there and the hunt is on We gonna hunt you down, we gonna hunt you down there's a jungle loud. There's a, there's a, there's a jungle loud. Crying out loud. There's a, there's a jungle out there and the hunt is on. A jungle out there and the hunt is on. We're gonna hunt you down. We're gonna hunt you down. We're gonna come, we ain't playing, it's the last thing on our mind Stop crying much if you really, really wanna stop crying Be safe when you're home, be safe when it's cheap It's a cold place and I'm nearly feeling the heat I never wear gold cause someone's always peeping by the fence Still crying much, came and give TNT confidence I had a dream in the dark, I had a dream in the spring I had a dream, I had a dream like my new There's king. a jungle out there and the hunt is on A jungle out there and the hunt is on We gonna hunt you down, we gonna hunt you down there's a jungle loud. There's a, there's a, there's a jungle loud. Crying out loud. There's a, there's a jungle out there and the hunt is on. A jungle out there and the hunt is on. We gonna hunt you down. We gonna hunt you down. We gonna come, we ain't playing, it's the last thing on our mind Stop crying much if you really, really wanna stop crying Be safe when you're home, be safe when it's cheap It's a cold place and I'm nearly feeling the heat I never wear gold cause someone's always peeping by the fence I still crying much, came and give TNT confidence I had a dream in the dark, I had a dream in the spring I had a dream, I had a dream like my new There's king. a jungle out there and the hunt is on A jungle out there and the hunt is on We gonna hunt you down, we gonna hunt you down Yo, there's a jungle loud. There's a, there's a, there's a jungle loud. Crying out loud. There's a, there's a jungle out there and the hunt is on. A jungle out there and the hunt is on. We gonna hunt you down. We gonna hunt you down. We gonna come, we ain't playing, it's the last thing on our mind Stop crying much if you really, really wanna stop crying Be safe when you're home, be safe when it's cheap It's a cold place and I'm nearly feeling the heat I never wear gold cause someone's always peeping by the fence I still crying much, came and give TNT confidence I had a dream in the dark, I had a dream in the spring I had a dream, I had a dream like my new There's king. a jungle out there and the hunt is on A jungle out there and the hunt is on We gonna hunt you down, we gonna hunt you down there's a jungle loud. There's a, there's a, there's a jungle loud. Crying out loud. There's a, there's a jungle out there and the hunt is on. A jungle out there and the hunt is on. We're gonna hunt you down. We're gonna hunt you down. We're gonna come, we ain't playing, it's the last thing on our mind Stop crying much if you really, really wanna stop crying Be safe when you're home, be safe when it's cheap It's a cold place and I'm nearly feeling the heat I never wear gold cause someone's always peeping by the fence I still crying much, came and give TNT confidence I had a dream in the dark, I had a dream in the spring I had a dream, I had a dream like my new king. There's a jungle out there and the hunt is on A jungle out there and the hunt is on We gonna hunt you down there's a jungle loud. There's a, there's a, there's a jungle loud. Crying out loud. There's a, there's a jungle out there and the hunt is on. A jungle out there and the hunt is on. We gonna hunt you down. We gonna hunt you down. 
we gonna come, we ain't playing, it's the last thing on our minds Stop crying much if you really, really wanna stop crying Be safe in your home, be safe in the street It's a cold place and I'm really feeling the heat I never wear gold, cause someone's always peeping by the fence Still crying much, came and give TNT confidence I had a dream in the dark, I had a dream in the spring I had a dream, I had a dream like my new There's king. a jungle out there and the hunt is on A jungle out there and the hunt is on We gonna hunt you down We gonna hunt you down there's a jungle loud, there's a, there's a, there's a jungle loud, getting out loud, getting out loud, there's a jungle out there and the hunt is on, a jungle out there and the hunt is on, we're gonna hunt you down, we're gonna hunt you down. We gonna come, we ain't playing, it's the last thing on our minds Stop crying much if you really, really wanna stop crying, be safe when you're home, be safe when the streets, it's a cold. Hi, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. This is Ian Allen. This is Crime Watch. And we are back. Top of the evening to you. all those of you who are locked online. A special good evening to you. All those of you who are looking at me from all over the world. A special good evening to you. You know, ladies and gentlemen, I know you just want to hear what's happening today. A man shot dead just meters away from a school. And I tell you, nothing's happened. I mean, nobody come out to say anything, you know. Nobody, nobody, nobody. You can imagine, ladies and gentlemen, and all those of you who are looking at me on Ian Allen Network on YouTube and Ian Allen Network on Facebook and have downloaded the Ian Allen app on your phone, your Android phone, your iPhone, and your website, ianallen.org. And persons who are living, who are out of Trinidad and Tobago, and by extension, the Caribbean, and, and out there in the world. Once there's a, a shooting in close proximity to a school, you'll have the officials come out, you'll have people speaking to the media, saying this, saying that. The school, the school supervisors come in and say, well, you know, Everybody's safe, the children are safe. We are, you know, we have offered counseling to the you know students who are affected because from what I heard today that the body was not covered for a good while and the body was exposed. So a lot of students, you know, these little children, it's a primary school, they you know they they saw the body there and they and you know they must be traumatized and it is just sad like and then they have schools stabbing people, stabbing people in school. CIC had an incident. One day in Signal Hill, a boy was stabbed multiple times, about 11 times with a screwdriver. And like nobody's coming out and saying anything. Nobody's coming out and saying anything. And that is sad. That is really, really, really sad. It's really, you know, it, it, it's something right to be concerned. It's like nobody business. But if, was a, if that incident had taken place by a a prestigious private school somewhere in the US or something. Bet your bottom dollar. Everybody would have been down there, you know. It is just sad. It is just sad. It is just sad. It is just sad. And let me tell you about the man. Let me tell you about the man. A man identified as Armour Howe was shot and killed near Gloucester Lodge Pri Moravian Primary School in Belmont on Tuesday, the 20th. At around 9.30, residents of the area heard a series of loud explosions and went to investigate. Upon their investigation, they discovered how's lifeless body on the roadway near the school bleeding from multiple gunshot injuries. The police were notified and, and officers from the, Mount, from the Port of Spain Division Homicide Bureau responded along with a DMO who viewed the body and made their pronouncement and ordered its removal from the scene. So again, the man has been identified as Amor Pothow. These are just different shots we have off him, if you have any information. So as you can see, just meters away from the school, meters away from the school. Look at the school right there. Right there. Parents watching. S sorry, teachers, officials from the school. Gloucester Lodge Moravian School. That school was established in 1895. Wow. And look at the distance here. Yeah, look at the distance. Look at the distance. Right here. Stop. Right here. And you are telling me, ladies and gentlemen. And that is the story today. Yeah? That is the story. So much things happen every day to, uh, to, in schools. You know what affected these children? That would throw them off. Because they hear the sound of a gunshot. You hear a man dead outside the school. 
You understand? They hear somebody dead outside the school. And look at the right, you look at the right by the school, right by the school wall. Right by the school wall, ladies and gentlemen. Right there. And we could have had, I think that the Minister of Education, nobody tell her go on the crime scene, but come out at the same time. Anything on her Facebook, anything? Nothing. Up until today. What about the stabbing and signal hill? Anything? Nothing. CIC, nothing. How, how, what have you to say about school bullying? Then I should start going to the schools and talk to the children and then discourage them from being violent. I make myself available. Because children are fascinated with me. They love the show. And to an extent, maybe they consider me as a role model. But it's really something that's really, it's, it's really unfortunate. There's the undertaker vehicle. So I just showed you this close proximity. Close, close proximity. This is terrible. Right in front of the school. What about if a stray bullet? What about if a stray bullet, ladies and gentlemen? And that's what I tell you, you know. I sometimes believe I have goat mouth, you know. Because when you send your children for home, you don't know what, you don't know what, they, what they're going on face. Multiple shootings all over the place. People get killed by a stray bullet. And that is why every morning, pray, pray with your children. If you are a Christian, anoint your children. Anoint them with oil. Throw holy water on them. Do something. Put on a tab each. Do something. Let them say a little prayer because it's a jungle out there. It's really, really a jungle. I, ne I never imagined that statement would have been so prophetic. It's a jungle out there and the hunt is really on. You are telling me, ladies and gentlemen, just in front of the school, just in front of the school, meters away. And you can see it, any shooting, look, look, look recently, look, look recently they had shooting in Lakewood. One man, one person was shot. A child was shot, the shooter was shot. Everybody came out, every shooting, school shooting, close proximity, everybody, it, it goes live. It's like, I, I think I'll have to jump out. It's like, I have to jump out and tell the people what's going on. You understand? And it's like, the Minister of Education is supposed to say something. What, 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 what she was up to today? Oh, she was in a breakfast forum at the Trinidad Hilton. Okay, breakfast at the Trinidad Hilton, a program, some function they had, and she was at that function about school and whatnot. But, ma'am, with all due respect, you need to come out and say something. Say what you're dealing with, because there are parents who are lost. There are parents who, do have, there are parents who rely on you to protect our nation's children. You are like the guardian. Let me tell you what you are. You, le let me tell you what you are, ma'am, with all due respect. Let me tell you what you are. When people leave, when people send their children out to, the, to, to government schools, public schools, you're the person in charge. You understand? You are the person in charge. You are the person who, who you're like the custodian. When, when they go to your school, your schools, you have your teachers, you have your counselors, you have your guidance counselors, you have everybody there. The administrators, everybody. And people, children must be safe. And you are responsible. Whether This is not about politics, this is not about bashing you, but you are responsible. When you took that oath as a, 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 a minister of education, you are responsible to protect our nation's children when they go into your arena which is the school, the education system. And when these things happen, we don't hear from you. When ch a child can be stabbed multiple times in Signal Hill, 11 times, another, ch another stabbing. You see, once you are enrolled in the Ministry of Education, once you are enrolled as a student, uh, once a child is enrolled, you are the Minister of Education. You are the head honcho. Whether you like it or not, you are the head honcho. And the box stops right there. The bullying stops right there. I wouldn't call you names, ma'am. 
We have no time for that. And let me tell you something. And I want you to keep this tonight. I want you to keep this tonight. Whatever happened with persons and I in the past, that is water under the bridge. We have to come together. We are all public figures. And just as I mentioned to somebody today, we are public figures. And whatever happened, that's water under the bridge. We sign up when we enter the public arena. We sign up for that. You sign up to be on front page. You sign up. You sign up to always have the media. You sign up for it. But nevertheless, ladies and gentlemen, in the interest of, of having a safe Trinidad and fixing this place, we have to put our differences away. You understand? We can't be clonging around and calling. And of, of course, we might make jokes and mix, but now is not a time for that to, to you know, for Pekong. Now is a time for seriousness. We, have a, we, we, we are facing a, a, a crisis with respect to the safety of our nation's children at the doorstep of the school. We are feel, it, and it, 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 it is not at the doorstep. It has entered the classrooms. You have seen the fights. You have seen it. And we need to hear from you, ma'am. We need to hear from you. I don't need to hear from the prime minister. I don't need to hear about the, from the attorney general. With all due respect, with all due respect, I need to hear from you. We need to hear from you. Parents need to hear from you. Come out and tell somebody something. Come out and say, well, as the Minister of Education, there was an incident at the school in Belmont, the, the, um, the Gloucester Lodge Moravian Primary School, it occurred so and so, and um, the, the matter has been investigated by the police and so. Um, we can't comment on that part of the investigation. My concern as the Minister of Education is the safety of our nation's children and those, you know, those enrolled in the, our education system. And um, rest assured that we have also, you know, um, we have also dispatched counselors to the school and those we have set up a line. We have, we, you know, we have our liaison there that do children who need counseling, children who are traumatized as a result of, you know, the gunshots and whatnot. Who, who might be fearful of coming back to school, rest assured, um, we are extending all that, all these services to them, counselors and whatnot. Um, with respect to the safety of the children, we are currently liaising with, you know, we are getting contact with the Commissioner of Police and Head of the Police Pain Division and see if we can have like a, 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 a police presence here until further notice. That is what parents would like to hear. That is what parents would like to hear. So they might, because when she, I don't know if some neighbor saw something, some taxi driver on the road saw something, so that you, you, you don't know. So the gunman could say, see, when they're coming out, I will come back and shoot. That is what parents want to hear, because rest, rest assured, not everybody attends, not everybody can afford the private schools and the, 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 the you know, the, the internationals and the, you know, those, those upscale, good primary, good private schools, like, upper level and whatnot. Good private school, they are excellent private school. CTS, Psalms, you know. But nevertheless, we're not going all there, all, all, all there, but we're talking about what took place today. That is what, that is what parents would like to hear. We don't want to hear back and you know, I don't want to hear about the red, I don't want to hear about the yellow. I want to hear about the safety of, this, of, of the children attending this school, and that's what you need to do. And I don't know who's advising you, but it's looking bad, and things happening, and you're not saying anything. When our, when our children leave their homes and they go to your school, you are responsible. You're responsible to, about, about their safety. You're responsible about the curriculum. You're responsible about, you know, what's happening in the school. You are responsible. You are the Minister of Education. I am not the Minister of Education. You are the Minister of Education. When farmers, when, when in the event that, that farmers lose their crops and, 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 they, and they have... Um, pretty a larceny and, and flood and they, they lost everything and they, you know, they, 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 they want aid, um, loans from aid, the agriculture development, the ADB and whatnot. The minister of the, I, 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 I can't come to you, I need to go to Kazim Hussein, who's the minister of agriculture and speak with him. He's the minister of agriculture, so he will be liaison with the farmers, see when they have 
you know, whatever disease for animals out there now, what is the ministry doing, this, this, that, all kind of thing, all kind of thing. So you have to understand the dance, you have to understand the dance, okay? But I can't go to Kazem Hussein and ask him about, and ask him about what's going on in the, in, the, in, the, in the school. Anything with farming and agriculture, this is the guy to talk to. But with, and you have to understand that, not, and not, not everything is politics, not everything is politics. But it's a serious thing, it's a serious thing because, let me tell you this, let me tell you this, that, that this, no, I, just, I, I can give you four cases. Look on Friday, and it's, it is a normal thing now, you know. Look just on Friday, the 17th of November, that is just about two months ago, two months ago, 26-year-old Shondell Bernard and 43 year old Jason Alexander was gone down near school at Bessel Street, near, near school, along St. Paul Street. You remember that? You remember that? A school right there. And the children walking and coming back. You remember that? Another incident took place, ladies and gentlemen, Tuesday, the 3rd of October, that the, the, the month before November. Another incident took place on Tuesday, the 3rd of October, 2023, when the decomposed body of a man who remains unidentified to this day was found murdered behind the Faisabad Presbyterian School. You remember that? Right behind the school. We never hear from you, Mama. We need to hear from you. We need to hear from you. You are the Minister of Education. Come out and tell your teachers it's safe. Come out and tell your teachers that I will make sure that nobody insult, your, insult my teachers and disrespect my teachers. I will make sure that no male student who think that they pee fraud in and go to somebody's whatever school, these, these government schools, feel that they can insult my teachers, my, my female teacher, because a lot of teachers are, you know, they, they throw words for the teachers and the teachers are afraid, scared to act up because these students are different. And there's a different mindset of people you're dealing with, you know, and you have to step up with the times. You have to put on your foot, put down your foot, protect your teachers also. Also, on, the, also on, the, on Thursday, the 4th of May, 2023, 22 year old Leon Mark of Alexis Street in Mover died at the hospital after he was shot near Hockett Baptist Primary School in Mover. I remember I was there. Right, right on the side of the school, I never heard nothing from you. I was there. This is a. There's a real sad case here. There's a real, real serious case. Just again, watch. Policeman across there with guns. You know, just craziness. I remember I walk around and thing. In person, they are hard working women in the police. So right? Very, very hard work. And that was it in May. And on Monday the first, you remember um Monday the first of May. 2023, 41 year old Ronnie P. of Connector Road. Carlson Fee was gone down outside Monroe Road Hindu School. I just showing you, remember that? I was there also. I was there also. The body's just behind us here. Behind the school, children screaming. They had to send home the children and then. Those, these things are serious things happening, and you are the Minister of Education. Take your job seriously. This is a no way to bash you. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not telling you that. That here what's going on, you must be trying. You must be trying, but I'm not, I'm, I'm not telling you, come back to me. I'm not telling you what here what's going on now. Forget Rowley. Think about the yellow. Think about going UNC. UNC this. You. It's not about that. It's not about that today. It's about you being the Minister of Education. You need to come out and say something. You need to ensure and give parents that encouragement because parents are fearful. They are fearful about sending their children to school when they see these things. And I really hope, ma'am, that you, you, you send the counselors. I mean, I remember when, when, when the shooting took place in Mova, not Mova, the, the next Besso, um, it had a school and they, they, they got um, the, it's, it's in St. Paul Street, they got, um, they got people from the, um, the mountain branch to go down. Superintendent Sook and all of them, yeah, they went down there to let like, children ride on horse and thing. Just to give them, just to, you know, to break that kind of mind thing that they were scared because... What school was that? Rose Hill. When Rose Hill occurred? Last year? 
Look, look, imagine I, I, I don't even have a computer in front of my, in front of me and I could just tell you, I could go back, my brain, and I, I, I tell you that. And I remember, um, rare before, right, like two years ago, but all I remember that, it had a shooting right by Rose Hill, and it continues, and we don't want to stray bullet kill nobody. Remember that? Quiet children. Shh. Talk. Talk. After the shooting and, and, the, and the teacher tell everybody be quiet. And the, 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 the police went and after they went and seen and, and superintendent Soka. Everybody knows Soka. Soka is a great guy. He's a very intelligent man. Really nice guy. Superintendent Soka. And I remember they went with um a lot of other police officers because they were they were they were, they were there at Mountain Branch. The, and they carry the horses for the kids and whatnot. And uh, after they had some artists, a couple of artists came to Trinidad and they, 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 they went by the school and children jump up. And, but it was nice, it was nice just to break that kind of mindset. And, but tomorrow, I, I really hope you dispatch your counselors and give parents the assurance that, they, they, that their children are safe, please. Yeah, this is what happened. You remember that photograph there? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, we had photographs. Yeah. I think the minister, the minister, the minister went down also. I went to the part with the horses and then. Yeah, look, Ola went down too. Like, look, Rosalie in the back. You understand? I remember that. I remember that. So, ladies and gentlemen, that's all we're asking because as much as you're, you know, you're watching the show right now, a lot of people, I mean, these things, these things that happen anywhere, and God forbid that one day somebody come and shoot somebody and one bullet, one bullet just stray or hit, or hit a wall and, and, and ricochet and hit a child. We don't want that. We don't want that. But you have to come out. You have to come out. How many fights will continue to see on a daily basis? How many fights? How many schools stabbing? How many times you see a child kicking down another child? We fed up of it. When we leave home, when our children leave home, we hand our children over to you as the Minister of Education. There's no way I could break it down tonight. There's no way. We're not going to have no peek on. We just want to be nice. Because if you, if you get upset, and I upset, too upset, can't make a right. You understand? We, can, we, 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 we won't be going nowhere. You angry, I angry, and the people angry. So too angry, could make a right. A good. I'm not angry. So tonight, all I'm just telling you, listen to me, please. Put away everything. Come out and tell, say something. Come out and deal with the bullying. Come out and start a, let people see you. And let people know that when, they, when, they, when you as the, the Minister of Education, your, your, your child is safe because I'm in charge. Of course, you will have the isolated incidents. You will have it. You can't get away from that. It's kids, it's children, it's minors. They will flare up. They will have a little tongue now and then. But we will deal with it. We will nip it in the bud. We're not tolerating that at all, at all. And that is what, I ain't saying, I, I mean, it fail, fail, but nevertheless, I get you the benefit of the doubt. Let's pick it up tomorrow and go along by the school and, and do your thing. Speak with the head of the, head of the police pain division, the, the police division, um, the head of the police pain division. Maybe getting, I mean, you being a minister, you can take up the phone and call Ola and say, well, say well, this is what's going on. We need all the police presence, thing, thing, thing. Speak with the minister of national security. Speak to people. Those are cabinet ministers. Speak to them. Speak to the Prime Minister. You have to take over. You have to hold the bull by its own. I, I, I wouldn't back on all you, but I'm just telling you, I advise you well. This is how it's supposed to be. We're going to take a fast break. This break is brought to you courtesy. SNS Passade, um, Total 2, One Stop, Caribbean Hair Transplant, um, Goldie Gummies, Apple Cider, and Rain's Fresh Produce Retail Outlet. Let's take a fast break.
Get ready to save big in the new year. Get Easy Wrap Foil 2 for $20, Happy Pasta Cuts 4 for $20, Bumblebee Tuna Chunks 2 for $20, Axion Dish Paste 2 Pack $30, SNS Detergent Assorted $15, Mabel's Ketchup Flat Pack 4 for $30, Hungry Jack Pancake Mix 2 for $25, SNS Paper Towels 4 for $20, Rich Board Vegetable Oil 2 for $25, Suavitel Fabric Softener $120. This carnival, you can win a cooler filled with all your favorite drinks in our exciting No Place Like Home. Carnival Cooler Promotion. To enter, simply spend $300 or over and drop your entry in one of our entry boxes located at any SNS Passage Supermarket locations. Four convenient locations, Rio Claro, Mayaro and Freeport. SNS Passage Supermarket, loyal to local. Don't be fooled by inferior brands and copycats. Total Tools One Stop Station by Salinas Marketing is the number one authorized distributor for original Total Tools products in the Caribbean. We are located at 797 to 799 Papery Road, Lower Barrack Po. Come in and take advantage of our specials on pressure washers, rotary hammers, cordless drills, mitre saws, chop saws, ladders, and more. Contact us at 654 5996 or 367 8665. Follow us on Facebook and Instagram. Go live with Ian Allen and let the world take notice of your business. Be seen by millions on all our platforms, Facebook, YouTube, our iOS and Android applications, and website, ianallen.org. Our network showcases you to viewers locally, regionally, and internationally. You'll be seen by millions. In 2023 so far, we've already crossed millions and counting. Our iOS and Android downloads have surpassed the hundred thousands. Since 2016 to present, over 47 million people have viewed our videos. That is proof of our reach worldwide. No other network can outdo our proven performance. No one can beat us. Your live will stay on all our platforms indefinitely. You'll even own the rights to the production. Let Ian Allen transform your business and take it to a place you never thought possible. Call us today to book your spot. The millions are waiting. Health is not a sprint, it's a marathon, Jen. You know that. You got this. Nutrients for immune system support, heart health, and energy metabolism. But remember, you have more than regular energy. It's Jennifer Lopez energy, or J-Lo energy. Seems forced. Jenny from the block energy. Overdone. a bottle today at Pennywise and all leading pharmacies nationwide. Rain's Fresh Produce Retail Outlet and Wholesale Department, Rain's Pharmaceuticals and Rain's Tasty Food is a sole company dedicated to providing fresh local and imported fruits and vegetables, affordable healthcare and delicious meals for all at unbelievable prices. We have a wide variety to choose from apples, grapes, strawberries, plums to all your local produce, wholesale case options also available. Enjoy our mouth-watering breakfast and lunch dishes prepared fresh every day. Our trusted and reliable pharmaceutical department is well stocked with all prescription medication, over-the-counter drugs and other health-related products. Head on down to number 83 Endeavor Road Shagornas and shop in comfort and safety. Contact us today. We are open Monday to Saturday. At Rains, we are committed to serving you. Is your business or company not making money? That's because no one knows about you. Advertise on Crime Watch, the number one show and watch your business transform. Call us at 294-4081-225-4327 or 225-3250.
Thank you, friends and avid viewers, as you continue to support Crime Watch via our PayPal and FCB account. Support Crime Watch with a minimum donation of $5 from anywhere in the world. Donate via our PayPal, one at gmail.com, or wire transfer to FCB account 1898739 with the SWIFT code. Be a part of the movement. Are you embarrassed by excessive hair loss, itchy flaky scalp, receding hairline, teenage and adult cystic acne, open pores, all scar marks, puffy dark eye circles, aid spots, black lips, psoriasis, eczema or dermatitis? Do you want to get rid of deep lines and wrinkles, stretch marks, cellulite and discoloration around the neck, arms and between the legs? For a professional consultation and a microscopic analysis with Ms. Bagan, who has over 30 years of experience, call 673-7418 now. After huge success in Mokoya, La Romain and South Park Mall for the first time ever, Indian Style Expo will be at the Air Conditioned Dome at Mid Center Mall from January 6. Over 60 merchants get all that you need garments, furniture, handicraft, footwear, jewelry, and so much more. For the first time ever in Trinidad, be sure to check out our $20 food court. Yes, you heard right, but that's not all. When you spend over $200, you also get a free meal. Bring your kids to the arcade while you shop. The Indian Style Expo at the Air Conditioned Dome, Mid Center Mall, starting on January 6th from 9 a.m. to 8 p.m. daily, including weekends and holidays. letting you know yeah i'm just letting you know also ladies and gentlemen with respect to the shooting by the school and i hope you already understand what i'm you know what i'm implying today and that is why i tell you you and i have to come together and you and i have to fix this place you and i you and i that's all you and i have to fix this place and i totally agree with jack warner i was trying to get in contact with jack warner jack warner say every no nobody no 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 parliamentarian should take increase in salary right now. Get my, get me my mic. Who's an immediate spit yes, boy? Let me see if his number working. Get me a mic. I'm trying to get in contact. Yeah. I had a number for him. I don't know if he's... He, he, there's an old number for him. I, don't, I think he have a new number. Jack Warner said nobody should take an increase. Sorry, I agree with him. Mr. Warner, I'm trying to get in contact with you. And he's right. He's right. Nobody should take it. No parliament, no, 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 no parliamentarian should take it right now. No MP should take it. Come out and say we have all the money right now. Give it to the, give it to the, um, the public servants. Give it to the hard PS and them, the, the hard public servants. Give, make, make sure police, make sure everybody who want to get get keep that money. You understand? Yeah. So I'm trying to get in contact with him, but I think I have it in my next phone. You know. Who is who watching, boy? Who is who watching? That's the same number. That's the same number I have. Med, med. That's all I can say. Medicine, medicine, medicine. That's the same number I have. That's all I can say. That's the same number that I have for him. I can't tell you who is that. And he said that, and I totally agree with him. Now is not time for no increase, now. Nah. And you pay store clerk little small money, and you have all over big money, now. Nah. All they had to serve. If he had to serve, oh, he's online. Hello. Hi, Mr. Warner. Good afternoon. This is Ian Allen, and we are live on national television. I was trying to call you. Maybe, maybe um. 
off WhatsApp. How are you, sir? I'm good. This is your good friend. I wonder if I'm your good friend. Are you a good friend, you know, Mr. Warner? Yes, you're still my good friend. <laughs> Mr. Warner, I'm... You're still my good friend, yeah. How you been keeping? You okay? I'm okay. I'm so glad to hear from you. You're a super great guy. Um, you know, I just wanted to find out what, what are your thoughts on the, the increase with respect to parliament, the, the parliamentarians and the, the, and the increase in salary that, you know, that has been recommended for as them? Far, as far as I'm concerned, Ian, they should not get an increase. They should get a decrease. If I had the power, I would give them half of the present salary they're getting. In fact, the Prime Minister's present salary is $59,000. I will give him just nine thousand. These guys have run down the, have run down this country in the worst possible way. Nothing here works anymore. Nothing here, of course, is of value anymore. And therefore, they don't deserve an increase. They deserve a decrease. Right. So you you, you don't agree with it? Uh, it's, it's, it's absurd. What have you to say about the state of the it? country, Mister Warner? What have you to say about the state of the, the country? Tell me. The country has never been in a worse state than it is at present. And that is why I'm saying that they, they, don't, they don't deserve any increase in salary. Nothing in this country works. There is no institution in this country that, that of course, is, is, is functional. And therefore, as far as I'm concerned, these guys should be out of office quickly and, and, or else give them, give them a, a decrease. Who would if you, recommend, way, who would you can, recommend their replacement should be? But at this point in time, you only have one, one, one alternative, which is Kamala and, and the team. And if Kamala... Um, takes this thing seriously and selects the right person in, in, in her campaign in, in, in 2025, I don't see how she could lose. If she selects the right set of people. That is correct. Right. Not, don't, don't pick the, the, the boys and girls that she has at present. She has to pick the correct guys and people. When people see them, they must say, wow, camera very serious. That is what they must say. True, true, true. Well, Mr. Warner, I just wanted to hear your views with respect to the, the increase yeah, in salary. These, these, salaries are, are, yeah, these salaries are absurd. Yeah. And I don't know, those, those SRC members do not live in, in, in Trinidad Tobago. I said in an article, they are living in Kukulan. They are dreamers. <laughs> they, are, they, are, they are an embarrassment to this country. Hmm. Well, Mr. Well, Warner, take care, go, go, go yeah. ahead, sir. Go, you, you go ahead, I'm listening to you. You take care. I say you take care. Yeah, and I hope that your program helps to helps to give the country a sense of hope. Because right now there's a hopelessness that is pervasive in this country. True. And it doesn't do, do us any good. Thank you again, Mr. Warner. You have a pleasant evening. And okay, man. Thank you, sir. Okay, man. Thanks for okay. taking my call. Thank you. See, my partner, I tell you I could call the man anytime. But I wasn't calling him on WhatsApp. But, but, but you, you heard what he said? You heard what he said? You heard what he said? That people have to get serious, and it's true. Big money, the Minister of Education getting big money, everybody getting money. Bro, uh, the Prime Minister salary is 59000 Remember, but, but, and that is like with all grocery bills. He don't have to pay for groceries. He don't have to pay, to pay, a, he don't have to pay a water rate. He don't have to pay a light bill. He has no bill. He, he, I mean, he might just have to pay whatever. If, if he have a, a private house, like his personal house, and he'd have electricity and water, and he'll have to pay, but at the end of the day, at the end of the day, that's taxpayers' money. I mean, everybody working, everybody working. But what, and I, I totally agree with Wana. Come out and say, we're gonna, we don't need that right now. We don't need that right now. We need, to, we need for the people to, to, to come together. We need to make sure that this land is safe. Trinidad and Tobago is safe. And it's all kind of Mickey Mouse statement with respect to the oil spill. All kind of Mickey Mouse statement with respect to the oil spill. You, you, you realize that? It was coming from so and Maybe it's sunk somewhere else and it drift to our shore, all kind of thing, all kind of thing, like people stupid. But don't worry, don't worry. You will fool us one day, the other day, but not every day. Yeah, just remember that, not every day. Not every day, ladies and gentlemen, not every day. So you heard what Mr. Warner said, no increase. And she, he hopes that the opposition leader get rid of all these, all these little children, all these little boys and girls around her and get serious people. That is what he said. In order to win and to capture the voters for 2025. And he's right. It's seriousness. Games, games are over. Why do you think I wouldn't come with no Pekong with the Minister of Education? I long time thing. This is serious. 
people are being shut outside of our nation's school. You need to come out and tell people something. A child, a child gets stabbed up 11 times in Signal Hill. That is a serious thing. I see, I see students, and it goes on and on and on and on. Last say that three, four, you need to come out. You need to come out. And you know what you need to do? Come out and go and visit the schools and them and meet with the students and them and meet and shake their hand and let them come around you and hug them up and thing and let them know you, you are the person. That is all I'm telling you. Me a bashing you. We have no time for that. A long time thing when during COVID and all kind of thing. But we are, we are come out for that. I know you saw me once. Yeah, I know. I know. You, and I know personally. I know personally. You saw me once. But I would have. I telling you. I would have. I I would have shook your hands. No problem. But I see like you. You realize like maybe you're upset with me and all kind of thing. But I have a duty. I have a duty to highlight what's going on in this place. I know I'm great you. As I tell somebody, they, I'm a public figure. We all public figures. We don't talk. There's where you sign up for you. Don't talk. You don't talk. You put on a radio. People say nasty things about you. All right. You go on, you go on YouTube. You go on Facebook. People say things about you. All right. We're going to cry. You're going to fall down on the ground. That's where you sign up for. Nobody didn't put, nobody didn't put you here. You walk up to this. You, you, you understand? Now, this is the second murder in Belmont. In Belmont. Well, today was by the school. The second murder. The last murder was, that took place in Belmont was just 11th of February gone in the last week. Right? The decomposing body of a 34 year old Kern, Public Knack, was found with multiple chop wounds in a drain along Sugren Trace. Yeah, that was the last person. That was the last person. Also, ladies and gentlemen, before I take that call, a man was shot. I saw Jack one, I saw one. Also, ladies and gentlemen, before I call. <laughs> but he's a good guy, you know. I have never, let me tell you something, yeah? and sometimes, you know, up to this day, that is the man who told me a day, he said, you are sartorial elegance, you know, when I see you. I never tell the man he I block, nothing. I have the utmost respect for Mr. Warner, likewise, you understand? When I see them, they can say, put on and shake me, nobody has to turn their face. So we good. He's a good guy, he's a good guy. I wish him all the best, and I can tell you one thing, he looks amazing for his age, he looks amazing. He looks amazing. Uh, a man was shot and killed in Mova on Monday, 19th of February. The deceased was only identified as Chris and is said to be from Valley Road in Belmont. Around 7.15, residents of Upper Park Street in Mova heard a series of loud explosions. Upon investigating, they discovered Chris lying on the road in a pool of blood. The police and paramedics were notified, however, by the time they arrived at the scene, Chris had already succumbed to his injuries. All right, so we don't know why anybody want to kill kill Chris from Valley Road in Belmont. We don't know. If you have, in fact, I'm looking, and there's a correction with a photo. I did an investigation. And when I tell you, I realize that is not the victim. That is not the victim. And as much as that was spreading, I want to be the first to correct it. That, that was not the suspect. This fella here is not the suspect, is not the suspect. The fella, the fella in the hat is not the suspect in this shooting. No, that is not the suspect. So it's, it is a twist now, it's another twist. That is not the suspect. They might resemble, but it's not the suspect. So I just want to correct it. I want to be the first. This is the suspect. This is the one circulating. But this is not the guy. Could be a relative or something. He is a relative, but he's not the guy. That is a relative with the, with, with the disease. That is a relative with the disease, but it's not the suspect involved in the KFC thing. And I want to be the first to correct it. I know a lot of people have pride and saying this and that, but then again, you have to understand. That's why people rely on us. That's why people rely on the truth. That's why we have so much of millions of people that are, look, that, that are locked onto us. I'm so disappointed with this woman by handing the people that knife, yeah? You won't believe it. I started the video when you see she took out the knife. Look at it. Normal, normal. Normal. But why are you walking with a knife for? And what you size that knife now? Watch. Normal, normal. Watch. Give the man a knife, watch. Gas thing, and as I tell you, watch. Child watching. 
That's what I tell you. Sometimes when these children fighting and things in school, you don't know the homes and the environment they come with, you know, they come from, you know. People doing drugs in front of children. So it's all kind of children coming out. And that's why we need the Minister of Education to, 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 to really come forward now and, you know, take your rightful place. Take your rightful place. Please, protect our nation's children. We are asking you to do that. It's not a matter. You are the Minister of Education. Hi, caller. Good evening. Your life on Crime Watch. Good evening, man. Good evening. Good evening, Trinidad. Uh, it's a real tragic story. I've been hearing since coming on the line with you. I've been hearing tragedy after tragedy, and you keep asking a question. What is the reason? Right? Now, to me, there's a difference between the reason, which is the individual, and the cause, which is the overall environment. To me, in my humble opinion, is Stalin, that Trinidad... The, the reason we kind of face a lot of these problems is a lot of the people lost their pride, lost their national identity. They're really just living for the family and self. They don't have faith in the neighbor. They don't care for the neighbor. They don't care for nobody other than their direct circles. And if they do, it's because they're getting a favor or something out there. Sure. They don't have any God or love that we used to have. We were an island built on that. But I just want to take one minute, if you would allow me that, to remind Trinidad and Tobago or something. That when CARICOM came into order, Trinidad was back then a major producer, if not one, if not the second, it was the first at times for many years from the 70s to the 80s as the powerhouse of economy within the Caribbean. And all of a sudden, we started to see foreign investors and foreign interests take over our markets in the sense that Items that we locally produce, we had a Ford factory over here. We closed it down, so we had to pay higher price for the Ford. Then we had sugar, we had a lot of local items, cotton, clothes, clothing items. All these things just disappear. All the local things that we had as alternatives to the high price foreign things, up and gone. Right? And now we pay in crown price for exported goods when we could if we really were allowed, if certain sanctions or tariffs would be allowed to farmers, to people to buy land, to invest into these things, we could become as a country a producing nation again. Sure. And the food, the, the world is a hungry place in the Netherlands, in Russia, in Ukraine. The rice not going to grow anymore because they're busy at war. In the Netherlands, they're going to put the ban on the nitrogen, which they're going to introduce here very soon. Welcome to that, Trinidad. And we're going to see a reduction in the national production of produce. What that going to affect the local buyer? It wouldn't affect the big boys with the Red House job and the ministry job and those in the embassies and in the armed services. They, they basically take on care of by the salaries they are guaranteed. It's us on the outside who have to rape and scrape every too, cent yeah. mm -hmm. to find a way to pay for these goods. And we're not even allowed to export simple as cocoa from Trinidad. Something we were nationally renowned, internationally renowned for. We as citizens aren't allowed go to export on, that to the international market. Wow. Because, because of Nestle. Nestle makes sure they call the shot. We want our cocoa. We want that. You know? Okay, well, I can't it's, go it's, there. It's, it's things people really had to wake up and start to see because the, the economy at Trinidad is what saves Trinidad. And right now, the economy failing and we see the nation fail. And that's why all have our, a, that's why all our like foreign investors, they go on and that's why they have a shortage of forex. Hey, I'm gonna put you on something to investigate here, right? And I tell, I call in a brand name. I'm not calling no name, no location. There is a brand of Pampers alternative in Trinidad to Pampers. It begins with P. Uh. That brand of Pampers sells in our shelves for, let's say, $40 TT, right? Uh. That same brand of Pampers, Mr. Allen, on a U.S. shelf is sold for $40 U.S. So something going on in the port that people don't know about is all I had to call it. It didn't come from Trinidad. Okay, I'll, check it, out. I'll check it out. Thanks again. Yeah, Thank you again. Take but, a look at it. Yeah, but yeah. sometimes, you know, you, you need these people. Just, just to listen, he has, he has, you know, very interesting statements he's making there. Let me take a fast break. When we come back, we'll continue. Janice, where's your secret? 
Your place is always so clean and organized. <laughs> well, girl, I've got a secret. It's Sir. Sir? Seriously? You have a man coming to clean? No, girl. Sir's an amazing new line of cleaning products. I'm talking about kitchen sprays, bathroom scrubs, even laundry detergent. They've got the whole house covered. So your secret weapon is Sir? You bet. Sir cleaning products are a game changer. Not only do they smell amazing, they're effective and affordable. And this Sir definitely wouldn't judge your mess. <laughs> <laughs> Introducing the Sir Collection, a wide range of affordable cleaning essentials for every corner of your home. Discover the secret to a clean home. Available at all leading supermarkets nationwide. Marketing is number one for all your new and roll-on roll-off vehicles. 100% financing available on all vehicles. The best price and warranty for three years or 50,000 kilometers. Seven years warranty or 100,000 kilometers on hybrid batteries. Visit our showroom or give us a call today. Obesity is a chronic disease and serious health issue in today's society associated with multiple comorbidities. At KSR Medical, our specialty is a medical treatment of this condition. Our doctors and pharmacists work together to help patients achieve and maintain a healthy lifestyle through our five nutri weight loss programs. Patients can lose one to two pounds in inches per day. Major health benefits also include decreased risk of diabetes, heart disease, stroke, certain cancers, joint pain, lowered blood pressure, cholesterol levels, and improved mobility. Trust KSR Medical with your weight loss journey. Give us a call now to get Let's start it. Paradise Pools and Spas Limited has the world's best brands in pool supplies and equipment. Our showroom is the largest in the Caribbean and is well stocked with a wide variety of cleaning equipment and chemicals for your pools and spas. We also carry pumps, filters, heaters, lights and so much more. Delivery services available throughout TNT. At Paradise Pools, we service what we sell and treat your pool right. Come into any of our three locations, Santa Cruz, San Fernando and Tobago. Follow us on Facebook and Instagram or give us a call. Paradise Pools and Spas Limited, celebrating 20 years of service to you. With the brand new Passage One Card, earning points is as easy as shopping at any Passage Cooking Supermarket, Bright Ideas and Crave. And let me show you how easy it is to redeem points. You can redeem your points when you shop for new curtains, household items, decor, flowers and seasonal items at Bright Ideas. You can enjoy discounts at our loyalty partners. Yaro Family Medicine Pharmacy with 10% off every $100 spent. Occumed Health, Safety and Wellness for discounts up to 10% on your doctor's visit. 11th Avenue Doctor's Office for 10% off your first visit. Dr. Rampol's Family Practice for 10% off your visit. Plus, Guardian Life of the Caribbean for 5% off for new customers. Remember, we don't end at seven huh? minutes to seven. Even though we come off synergy, we are on the app. We are on the Ian Allen, the, the Ian Allen app on your phone.
your Android phone, your, your iPhone, once you have internet at home, download it so you can watch me like that. Or you have those, the, the, the uh, Android boxes. You can download the app and you can look at it on your smart TVs. Um, go to Ian Allen Network on YouTube and look at me, Ian Allen Network on Facebook. Uh, you know, a man was shot, well, was shot outside a bar in Palmyra Sunday and he died. The deceased has been identified as 28-year-old Giuliano Lewis of Coriel Road, Princess Town. Around 2.45, Lewis was seated in a silver 80 wagon in the car park of Rawls Recreation Club when he was confronted by a man armed with a gun. Uh, persons who were nearby reportedly heard suspect asking Lewis a series of questions before he fired several shots hitting Lewis about the body. The suspect then fled the scene and Lewis was taken to San Fernando General Hospital where he subsequently died. So he was shot outside Rawls Recreation Club in Palmyra. Okay, but that have nothing to do with the buyer, so don't feel that, you know, there's no way to discredit anybody's business. Right now, that matter took place in outside. Okay, outside. So he could have parked up and talking to somebody. Hi, Cole, good evening. You're live on Crime Watch. Hi, good evening, Ian. How are you doing? Good, good, good. What's happening? Tell me, really fast. Well, I'm from Barbados, man. Hey, hey Barbados, what's happening? Hey, good, man. You were supposed to give me a call. You didn't, you never did, man. I didn't call you? Waiting on the call. No, I'm a, you never called. But the amount of foreign calling I had to, take, to, to, to make over the last few days. Okay, they will take back your number here, but, t but tell me what's happening. Man, everything good, good, good. We got a guy in Barbados called Harden Henry, man. You ever heard of him? Harden Henry? Yes. No, I've never. Master strategist, man. I, I, I've he never heard about him. He deals strictly with the elections, man. We got to get him in Trinidad to help Kamala yeah. and win this election, man. We, we got to get him down there, man. We got to get there, but everything is okay with you. I, I should be, you know, I was thinking about coming to Barbados very soon, you know. As soon as I get there, I'll call you. Tell you. me, yeah, tell but me, I, you tell me you're coming to Lime Grove, man. Yeah, I'm to Lime, but yeah, I'm coming to Lime, I'm coming to Lime. Got to go to Lime Grove and, you know. So, all right, so, but going to take your number off there. Just take his number off there, send it back, so I'll, I'll call him. So much, thank you again. Yes, man, there you hook up. I promise you that. But there's so much people all sometimes right. to sit down and call people all up the islands. All of the island, everybody of the island. So, I want to call, call me, call me. Some of them respond to them on TikTok. Remember, you can hashtag my name, hashtag Ian Allen on TikTok. You know, you'll see me there, but never let the amount of people. Hmm, I sometimes don't know how much is my phone bill. Oh, you understand? And um, so, if, if you have information, you see, I tell you, telling, and, and that's what people don't understand when you advertise with me. Everybody watching your ad, and everybody, you know. Everybody, everybody, everybody watching your ad. Anybody who has information with respect to the shooting in Palmyra, get in contact with me. This is the, the, this is the fourth murder that took place in the Southern Division for the month already. Yeah? This, in Southern Division for the month already, just 20th of February. The last murder that took place in Southern Division was on Friday the 16th of February when 31-year-old Luca Lorenzo Simmons, a laborer of Union Park, Gopal and Marble, was shot and killed moments after stabbing a man during a confrontation. Well, we know that. Okay? That was the last murder. Yeah. Right. Okay? Come back to me. But you know, I you, you know I I I had a new a, a new footage to that KFC. You you all know that, right? Okay, can I see it? Like when it just happened? And they have audio. Go yeah, ahead, man. Get yeah, shoot. Max, you know how much you get it. Where are you going? Yeah. Boy, well, what tree get away? Right here, from here, the man's head. Yeah. No. From, from here, the man starts shooting them in the dog. You see, but you get knife. Remember, she hand them the knife. You know, an ex cop was shot during a confrontation with police in Santa Flora. You, 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 you know about that on Monday that happened. A report was made to the Southwestern Police Division of a man throwing objects along the SS Erin Road near Johnson Street. When the responding officers arrived at the scene, they were greeted by, by the naked man who started throwing objects.
towards the marked police vehicle. The officer instructed the man to desist, and he responded by saying, shoot me, shoot me. He then broke a glass and launched it towards the constable who fired a shot and hit the ex-policeman. The man subsequently fell to the ground and began behaving erratically. When the officers attempted to subdue him, he ran off. However, he was later apprehended and taken to Separia District Health Facility, where he was treated and later transferred. So, again, you don't know what mental problems he had. He running naked. The, um, apparently, he is a former self-defense instructor, was said to be in a stable condition, nursing a gunshot wound to the right leg. So the police acted. Maybe, maybe they, they knew him or whatever. So we're going to take a fast break, ladies and gentlemen. When we come back, we'll continue. It just goes to show, wow, everybody's locked. I tell you, everybody, you know, everybody is locked on. Everybody is seeing your ad when you, on, when you are on Crime Watch. Everybody. And I'm going to show you how, I'm going to show you. When they go low, we must go high. And the interest of, of, of we must never hold bitterness. Never. Let's take a fast break. Thinking of giving your home that modern finish? Then visit ABC Bar Doors and Windows. We are the largest supplier of hardwood finishing goods. Get kitchen and pool tiles, faucets, doors, windows, sinks, and so much more. Come in or give us a call. ABC Bar Doors and Windows, always a better choice. Get ready to save big in the new year. Get SNS Brown Sugar, two pounds, two for twenty dollars. Old Max Sardine, three for twenty dollars. Totally Active Detergent Powder, four for twenty dollars. Golden Brand Margarine, three for twenty dollars. Ibis Flour, two kilograms, two for thirty-five dollars. Great Food Boneless Ham, three pounds, two for hundred dollars. Whole Chicken, two for hundred and twenty dollars. Country House Corn Beef, two for thirty dollars. Orchard One Liter, two for twenty-five dollars. Blue Waters, five for hundred dollars. This carnival, you can win a cooler filled with all your favorite drinks in our exciting No Place Like Home Carnival Cooler Promotion. To enter simply spend $300 or over and drop your entry in one of our entry boxes located at any SNS Passat supermarket locations. Four convenient locations Rio Claro, Mayaro and Freeport. SNS Passat Supermarket loyal to local. When NASA set out to explore the reaches beyond our world, they needed a material that would hold up to the demands of the unknown. Flexible titanium. Engineered from the same alloy used for missile heat shields, Flexon set the new standard in durable eyewear. Flexible titanium eyewear. Available at Neo Eyewear, 91D Main Road, Suite 1, Montrose Mall, Chagonas, 672-5052 or 390-3196. Come to light in a relaxing staycation at the beautiful Serenity Hills Palace. Nestled in the heart of South Trinidad, you can enjoy quiet scenic views. We provide spacious, fully furnished, air-conditioned rooms with accommodations for up to 15 persons. Enjoy a day at the luxurious poolside, fully equipped with an outdoor kitchen, barbecue grill, poolside bar, and lounge areas. Overnight and day passes are available to fit your staycation needs. Find us on Facebook, call or WhatsApp 1917-239-5799 to book your stay. Is your business or company not making money? That's because no one knows about you. Advertise on Crime Watch, the number one show, and watch your business transform. Call us at 294-4081-225-4327 or 225-3250. from Denmark. Mess somebody from Denmark message me. Let me see. Denmark, you know. Denmark. It's 11:50 something in Denmark. It should be about 11, 11 almost 12 o'clock in Denmark. Yeah, we are looking. We are looking at you from Denmark. Some people might be nervous when I call them. You know, boy. 
It's just crazy. It's just crazy. A taxi driver was beaten and robbed by of his vehicle in Valencia on Monday. The victim has been identified as 44-year-old taxi driver Marcus Thomas of Mont Carmel, Valencia. Around 10.15, Thomas, Thomas reported uh, reportedly plying his car for hire in Arima to Valencia route, route when he was picked up by four passengers, two males and two females, upon reaching Cassava Drive, La, Pla La Plata Gardens. Valencia, the male boxy passenger, placed an object to Thomas' neck and announced a robbery. Take the man can go on with it, yes? So I a lot of women to exit the vehicle before they beat Thomas and relieved him of forging cash, his cell phone, his, his vehicle. I tell you that's why working, working in the night is a very serious thing. And that tracking thing, they should have tracking devices. Those of you who have reputable companies and want to advertise your product about tracking vehicles, well, get in contact with us. Also, four women were caught shoplifting at Starlight Marval. Pardon me? Four women were caught shoplifting in Starlight in Marval on Saturday. Okay. Let me... I need to get the original footage. Watch them, boy. Watch them. Watch them, boy. You shoplifting by, by, by people who I know? You can't do that? Or you going to do that? Starlight and Marvel, I know them. You can't do that. Watch them. This is a group of them, you know, watch. Wow. It's two of them. Four. These are the first two. Anybody know them? Right, this is the other one. Three. Four. Run the video. Let me see the rest of them. What, what they were doing. Go ahead. Remember, ladies and gentlemen, remember... We don't, we don't end at seven. We don't end at seven. We continue on social media and all our social media platforms. Okay? Wow. Unbelievable, yeah? So we have more videos, right? We believe that these four people could assist, could assist us, right? And we believe they're moving in this car. Where's the, where's the car number? No, we can't prove that. We can't prove that. But what we can see is what, is, is what they have inside. What, they, what we see they're picking up inside, Starlight. Why would you go to Starlight in Marvel? Starlight in Marvel have plenty cameras. No, but in Starlight, there's a lot of cameras in Starlight. In Marvel, a lot, a lot of cameras in Starlight. You have to be real brave to do that. All they're trying to embarrass Marvel over. And there's a man always in Marvel, down by Adams and thing. Go we'll get lunch and breakfast, something by Adams. So, also, ladies and gentlemen, we have two minutes. Now remember, at 30, 40 seconds before we end, you're going to get that clip ready, that video ready here, yeah? because we're already making sure that some of you think that a lot of people tell me, but yeah, they cut you just and they don't cut me. There's a contractual arrangement from now till 7 o'clock, from quarter to 6 till 7 p.m., but the show does not end. Go ahead. All the platforms and we're going to enhance that video i need it to be done better and we're looking for graphic artists those of you who know who are, who are familiar with um what's the format what was the format director 
After Effects Adobe and Premiere Pro, what again? Photoshop. Yeah, Premiere Pro, Photoshop, and you can do, and you know graphics real good? Send me a WhatsApp, okay? And send, and do, watch me, here we are hiring people. Sit down by that computer and do an ad for me. Do what, do, do what, do, 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 do what, I ain't not going with that. Because sometimes, yeah, a lot of people might be that verse, but have documents, papers, to show that they are that good. But brother man, let me tell you something. Put them by a computer, let me, I can tell anybody this. A girl called Camille. Camille, what was Camille's name? Roberts. Yeah, from Win TV. Those days she was in charge, she was the editor in Win TV. You know, nice girl, nice Christian girl. You know that girl Camille Roberts taught me to edit? Yeah, she taught me to edit. I never went to learn to edit and, and I tell you, I used to be doing all, everything that they're doing here, in this big studio here with all these people here. I did it by myself, sitting on with a, a, a Mac, and like that. As, as we do the video, we inserted the SD card, and I'm like that, just like that, and editing. I can edit five, five, five crime scenes in less than an hour. Yeah, car moving. And by the time I reach studio, watch me, look at the flash drive. Story after story. Story after story. So it's nobody here in the back here could feel indispensable. Believe me, I'm that good. But he know that, don't you know that? Don't you know that? I can edit. You don't know that? You don't know that? I can edit. I, I edit it while we, we leave in Toko. Or leaving a crime scene in Port of Spain or Sandy Grandi. And I like that editing. Them, and those days we had a driver. So he driving and I editing like that. In the back. And by the time I reach down. Plus eating, yeah? Like that. A box of food and watch me. And I editing like that. Now for now. So not all the time somebody could have documents and papers to say, well, they're brilliant. Sometimes, you see this upstairs? A lot of people I have seen can really retain stuff. I had a guy. But we kind of let him go, he's slack. Yeah, he's not committed. He's unreliable. I don't like unreliable people around me. But that guy knew nothing about editing. And that man, that fella picked it up in about a week time, less than a week. And I, I in, all, in, in all my years, I was so impressed. I was like impressed, like, that is amazing. That is, I don't want to call his name to give him that play, but... I don't, I, you know, but some of people don't know the talent, no? People do not know the talent. The body of a man identified as Sean Lala was found in an apartment in Dutch Fort Scarborough, Tobago on Tuesday, 20th of February. I repeat, the body of a man identified as Sean Lala was found in an apartment in Dutch Fort Scarborough, Tobago on Tuesday. So yeah, they, they, they move anybody and whatnot. Mm -hmm. Also, ladies and gentlemen, a man was shot and two others arrested following a robbery in Curep. Around 115 officers from Northern Division responded to a report of a robbery in the vicinity of Bobby's Bar in Curep. Both North Central Task Force and the St. Joseph CID managed to intercept the getaway car occupied by three men near Hutton Street in Mount Hope. One of the spokesmen report, reported began shooting at these officers who returned fire, hitting, on, hitting on, one, of the, one of the suspects. The other two suspects surrendered and his stolen items were recovered. We... This was the robbery end? Yeah. So police intercepted them. Watch them, normal. It's one. Watch, watch, watch. So it had to be this, what you see? Normal, normal. Normal, watch. Normal with guns, watch them. 
What kind of gun is that he have, boy? Hmm. Cigarette you holding gun for? Boy, watch. Huh. Boy, somebody could have last year right there, you know. God, boy, this woman, we try to run over. Oh, lady, how you gonna run over that child behind these people and them? Watch, you see? They're watching this. You see your car is parked up in parking lot? You see it? Open up the lines. I call like a evening. You're live on crime watch. Remember, all these, all these videos can be seen on Ian Allen Network on YouTube and Ian Allen Network on Facebook. Oh, I did not take my goalie um, apple cider vinegar. Come back to me. See what's going on in this place? Huh. Martin, boy. And pack up money time. Next one, go on drunk in Cora. So sad. A man drunk at Cora. He's been identified on Monday. Sheldon Forb, Ford of Lendor Village in that price. He has been identified 55 year, 55 year old Sheldon Ford. If his family can get in contact with me, put, when we put up that video, let the family get in contact with me, please. Around 3 30, Ford was lying with a group of friends and family at Pool One Cora when he went to the river for a bath. Shortly after he went underwater and failed to resurface, the group immediately began searching for him, and it was only after an hour they located his lifeless body in the water. Attempts were made to, to resuscitate him, however, it proved futile. The police were notified and responding officers along, the DM, along with the DMO. Visited this year. See that Cora thing? And friend, rum, I don't play that. I don't play that at all. I don't play that. And sometimes, ladies and gentlemen, you have to know who you're going with, who encourage you. Your friends, and let me tell you something. Friends don't make friends drink and drive, first of all. Friends don't make friends, drop them late in the night when, the, when other friends are drunk. They don't do that. Call, call a taxi, call somebody. But don't make a friend who is drunk and had enough to drink and tell them do last drink and then send them home. Don't do that. I have a, I have a good friend. He, well, he, he takes a little drink and whatnot, but sometimes he kind can, of go over his limit and I tell her, what do we align with? I get on with everybody. I say, Vicky, you can't make the man drive now. You can't do that. I went so bad to say, you're going to well, send for a taxi. Send a taxi, pay a car to drop him home. Because you don't want to get a call that he crashed somewhere or killed somebody. You know? Hi, caller. Good evening. You're live on Crime Watch. Hi, good night, Mr. Allen. Good night, what's happening? Yeah, good night. First time caller. My wife and I, we always watch you, but first time caller. Uh huh. So, um, continue the good work. I mean, I, I mean, I just watch the video, then Florence and then I'm born and grew in Augustine, but I live in Santa Cruz now. I mean, these fellas and I'm they just. Hello, good night, Mr. Allen. Yeah, go ahead, sir. Go ahead, sorry. Yeah, I'm yes, yes. I'm yeah. yes, first time caller from Santa Cruz. My wife and I always watch you sometimes, but I just, I'm a trailer driver, but I do always watch you. I've read this, I've watched it, I've I mean, I just watched the video there, I mean, this one has been a waste of time. Yeah, but that's... I mean, and you're he, 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 he doing a good job, irrespective of what. Thank you again. Is there anybody you want to say hello to? He gone. Now, but let's watch them in the car park. Look, 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 just look at them. Just look at them, just look at them. Normal, normal in the car park, you know, normal, normal. So one was shot, yeah, one was shot. One was shot. And two hell.
Hi, caller. Good evening. Yes, I, I am Salen. I, I got cut off there. I was just saying to my daughters and them in St. Augustine. Okay. Anybody you want to say hi to? Yes, I am my daughters in St. Augustine. Nisha, Amy. Right. My wife, yeah, she's, she's watching the TV right now. So, as again, continuing the good work. Keep it up and we just... Um, and we're just trying to... We just want to be safe. You know, just be safe. And you yeah. keep up the good work. Thanks and again. Listening is a first-time caller. Be good. And don't be the first-time caller. You can always call any time, right? Let me... How? As they drove up, the police van were behind them. Okay, very good. Somebody called the police fast. Watch it, watch it, watch it, watch it. We shall get them the matrix one time. Woo! Oh, God. Watch thing now, man. Watch thing. Take it back, take it back again, take it back again. You see? And friend is carrier. Friend will bring you back. Watch, he fully belly. Watch, one get shot. Watch out. That was St. Joseph. Stop, stop. Watch the police right there. A little bit again. Right, stop. You see? The police van right there, man. You see? And now let's say police not working. Them don't need no 4%. Them need 50%. Them, them is the people who need the razor pay. And they need a back pay. Imagine them can't get a back pay. All kind of antics. Only prayers and no person. All kind of antics. Just imagine that. Right, you understand? Yeah, yeah, it, it. So just go back with the video. Start the video again. So that's how they were held. Awasa, yeah, St. Joseph. So it's just a minute away. Yeah. Watch them. They're running the people's place. They're running. They're running the, they're, they're running the place. Watch him, watch him. And you know if the thief that van and all too. I want to see the, I want to see the faces, boy. I want to see the faces. Watch them now, man. And friends, watch friends. Watch friends. Friend is scary, but they don't bring you back. Watch. Watch hot man. Watch hot man. Watch hot man. Bam! Police behind you. That is what we like to see in Trinidad. That is what we want to see. But why are they alive? <laughs> still live, still live. I'll call you back. I'll call you back. Shh, shh, shh. Still live, still live. I'll call you back. Don't say nothing. Don't talk. Don't talk. You're taking long. Always, always be witness, right? You give a statement. Yeah. Come back to me. Also, ladies and gentlemen, um, police are seeking the public assistance in locating 32 year old Akisha Worrell of Moncoco Road, Pity Valley, who was reported missing. And I sent another missing person today. Right, hold on, before we go, this girl was last seen on the 16th of February. She's 32-year-old Akisha Worrell. And also the young fella, a young fella went missing yesterday. He was found also. He's from, um, well, what are the facts? He was found, so he's okay, he was found. All right, so everybody who sent this to me, he was found. Just to give you an update, he was found. Also, ladies and gentlemen, then this guy, Joseph Lyon, last seen. The, I need to know, we need to get the facts with this, you know, something to add up with this, you know. He was last seen by the Manzilla government, school wearing a gray T-shirt, gray short, three-quarter pants, black pair of Nike slippers. And the car find this man just so? Was he driving? Did they find his car? Whoa, 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 whoa. 
Could we get a relative to contact us? Yeah, we have a, a number for a relative. Contact me, please. Contact me. Contact me. Please contact me. Also, ladies and gentlemen, do you know this drowning in Korea is a serious thing because this is the third drowning that was recorded for the country this that does fire, and it's just the 19th of February, the 20th of February. The, 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 the third drowning so far. The last drowning occurred on 11th of February when 69-year-old Harry Summer, a retiree of Springville, Claxton Bay, lifeless body was found in sea just days after he disappeared. He would always go to the flower pot beach up in Claxton Bay there to take a little dip. And hmm, I tell you one thing, let me, let me tell you this before I go. The sea do our branch, eh? don't play with the sea, you know. You see that swimming now, and you want to show people they could swim and come so and ride wave and thing. I ride in the sand. I don't ride no wave now. I don't have a, a particular person that's bathed with a life jacket enough. You know that, you know that, right? A particular person I know is bathed with a life jacket. Yeah. The, yeah, yeah, he bathed with a life jacket. He might be there with a life jacket. And you can't mix with him. That's why you have to be careful out there. You have to be careful. So I have so much to tell you. I have so much to tell you. Um, tomorrow, I'll, uh, to, nah, tomorrow I'll give you that. Tomorrow I'll give you back what I, what I didn't run. It has some things I wanted to tell you. And, I can't give you all, I can't give you all one time. So out of time, tomorrow I'm going to be back at quarter to six. Remember, advertisers, get on board, Barbados, Denmark, all over watching you, all over watching you, all over watching the ads. Two point something million so far for the year. And that is the population of Trinidad, part the population of Trinidad and Tobago also. That is international love, according to my good friend. So we are out of time now. I'm going to be back tomorrow at quarter to six. Make sure you be ready. Tell your friends, tell everybody. And you, those, those who ads are being seen on my show, all the pop-ups, you make sure and support them. They have great deals. Our advertisers have great, great deals. This is Ian Allen. This is Crime Watch. Have a wonderful night. Good night.